Good day, everyone. Um, we are now at study number 30, um, and today's study is called Ashamed or Shy. We're going to be looking at Luke chapter 22, verses 59 to 62. Full disclaimer, as we kick off things today, this study is going to involve what some people might consider a cringy love story. But I'm going to tell it anyway, because it's my cringy love story. I've told Steph at many times that from the first time I met her, there was just this voice in my head that just kept saying, there's something about this girl. The more we spent time together as a group of friends, well, the more I was convinced that I wanted to ask her out. But oh my goodness, it took me a while to get around to it. It's not that there weren't opportunities. We saw each other enough times when we were hanging out as a group of friends, and I'd even been texting her back and forth, but I just kept failing to have courage. On those occasions when we would be chatting in moderate privacy from others, well, the opportunity was there, but I bottled it. On a number of occasions, I typed up this beautiful message asking her out for a coffee, but I always failed to hit send and end up deleting it. It took me a good few months before I eventually spoke honestly about how I felt and I invited her to grab that coffee. What was the issue? Well, I was so concerned about her reaction and the possibility of it going badly that I just kept shying away from what I knew I had to do. If you're honest with yourself today, well then, I'd imagine that most of us have had occasions when we've missed opportunities or we failed to speak up when we really should have. And that's exactly what we find Peter doing in our passage for today. In Luke 22, 59 to 62, we read this. About an hour later, another asserted, certainly this fellow was with him, but he is a Galilean. Peter replied, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Just as he was speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word the Lord had spoken to him. Before the cock crows today, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. This incident with Peter is both shocking and if you're anything like me, well, a little bit too familiar as well. Perhaps you've never lied outright about your church going habits, your faith in Christ or your beliefs in general. But have you ever found yourself redirecting the conversation, avoiding the subject or telling only half the story? I'm sure we've all been part of a conversation with people who have been sharing what they've been up to over the weekend. When it comes to us, will we tell them about the coffee catch-up? We tell them that the drive we took with some friends. We tell them about the barbecue at someone's house, but often we perhaps fail to mention that we went to church on Sunday and we had a great night at YF. Or maybe your friends are chatting about the antics of an overzealous Christian character from a popular TV show. Or that Instagram post that some Christian put up sharing their outdated and judgmental views. You know exactly where the conversation is heading, so maybe you decide, well, this is a good opportunity to head to the bathroom and get yourself out of there. Peter was probably worried that being linked to Jesus, the man who has been condemned to death on a cross, would result in suffering of his own. What would people think if they knew that he was one of the disciples? How would they treat him? Would he be in danger himself? All of those fears and worries, they probably filled his mind. And so when an opportunity to share his faith in Jesus came up, well, he lied and he denied any connection to the Saviour. Why? Why do we do this? Is it because we're ashamed of Jesus? Is it because we're shy? Perhaps we're scared of what people will think of us or we're scared that we'll say something stupid and we'll put them off Christianity even more. Whatever the reason, we need to sort it out. If we don't, well, we're missing out on life-changing, Jesus-encountering conversations. 